Good evening, I'm Ann Nyberg. And I'm Darren Kramer. Heartbreaking moments at a vigil held in Norwich for the victim of a deadly shooting. That victim's eight-year-old son, who was with her when she died, was there to light a candle for his mother. News 8's Bob Wilson is on the scene in Norwich where police are looking for the killer. As the candles are lit and the flowers are set outside the building, inside, parents have been coming by, friends, family. They were walking up the stairs to the apartment and putting their fingers in the bullet holes, nine and all, right through the door. One man brought his son up here and his son put his finger in here and said, what's on the other side, dad? It was a life cut short. Eight-year-old Junie kneels out in front of his apartment in the rain, lighting the first candle for his mother. The light is passed from one person to another, spreading a warm glow over a crowd of tears. He is surrounded by friends, backed by hundreds gathered to remember his mother, 26-year-old Jackie Worth. Police say it happened in the early morning hours of Wednesday. She was shot through her door when she came to answer the bell. Some monster invaded our community and robbed him of his mother and his family. And tonight we just have hope them that they're going to be okay and we're all going to get past this and it'll be it'll be okay i hope whoever did it gets caught and justice is served because two beautiful boys got left behind and i'm like lost for words i don't even know junie was home with his one-year-old brother when he was awoken by gunshots he was standing at her side and can be heard yelling in the background of the 911 call his mother's plea for help before she collapsed as grief poured out into the rainy night, friends say while his mother is gone, it's now their job to help raise him. That's what a community is for. That's, that's what we do, you know. In a, in a city, you have to count on your neighbors. You have to help others, and that's what we do here. Police say Jackie was the intended target, but they don't know why. Witnesses saw a heavy-set black man about six feet tall running from the building. They're asking for the public's help in identifying him. We're imploring those people to come forward with the, with the information that we need. And, and no matter how inconsequential they may think it is, uh, they, they may have that little kernel of information that we need to get the perpetrator of this crime. Well, tonight they did pass a jar taking donations for gifts for Junie and his brother for Christmas. And also the Norwich Police Benevolence Association was also collecting money and gifts for the family. This has touched everyone in the community. I'm Bob Wilson reporting on the scene in Norwich, News 8.